everyone back it is time for episode three of our franchise mode friends thank you all so much for all the support on episode one i'm filming this just before episode two gets released um so i hope you all enjoyed episode one and episode two um i just want to thank you for all the support so far um it was like a really big thing for me to release this series uh I kind of had to overcome like a little bit of like a mental strain to do this so I just want to say a massive thank you to like all the support that I've had doing this series on YouTube but anyway anyway we're gonna get straight into the good stuff 100 little conservation credits cute let's jump in okay friends welcome on back to paradise zoo oh, i'm so glad that mechanic is already there working on that um we have a couple of things to work on today i would really really like to get some more of our mechanic stuff research i want to get this barriers up to the top level by the end of today and the vet research oh do you know something i also forgot Well, we only have one zoo at the moment, so it's fine. But when, once we start opening new zoos, I remember in episode one, I said that I would show you guys the overall franchise statistics. So we'll do that once we start opening new zoos up. So don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Um, quick Planet Zoo update here. Um, the new pack and the new update came out yesterday. Um, so if you are watching this, I have filmed this on the 22nd of July. So we're still getting used to some of the new, uh, updates and some of the new animals are so, so cute, but we probably won't be able to get any of those into the zoo today. So what I want to try and get in is a couple of extra animals and maybe even two or three exhibit animals. I completely forgot that that was empty. Let's try and get some more Titan beetles in. Wowzers, I completely... Oh, we've got some Goliath beetles. Maybe we could change it. <gasps> yes. Okay. The Goliath beetle is a money maker. Of a... Say, of a uh, animal. Okay, and it's already perfect. I'm going to make it just a smidge and warm it in the layout. We don't have any enrichment, but that's okay. But the Goliath beetle is the one that I wanted in episode one. Yes. Oh, amazing. We can now claim that reward as well. That's an extra thousand. Uh, amazing. Okay. It'd be really nice to get some lighting or something in here. So I'm just very quickly going to see if I can grab some of that. If I can even remember where it is. Is it under construction? Yes. Wow, we do not have a lot of options here. There is not a whole load, but that's okay. Uh, we'll get some in at least. Um, I do think it would be really cool to try and get some of the new education things into this zoo as well. Oh, we should definitely get that turned on. Put that onto the common ostrich, absolutely. Now, we do have quite a lot of donation bins, so that is perfect. How are all of our animals doing? I feel like that's something we should probably check. And I'm going to call this mechanic to here as we're doing it. Oh, we've got puppies. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so we're doing some enrichment stuff for them. Uh, what are we currently researching? We are currently researching the American bullfrog. That is perfect. My springbok are stressed. I mean, same, hun. Same. Okay, I'm gonna say... How are, how are the froggos doing? Okay, so we've got like three of them. So I'm gonna tr put that one into the trade center. I don't think... Yeah, I think you could just trade those out i don't think in franchise mode you can get them for um conservation credits i think you have to do that via um other methods anyway um let's pop in a nice little path
because I want to create like some different sections. Now I'm very much aware that our zoo probably isn't the most kind of, oh, what's the word? Well laid out zoo. And, and the thing is, I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I'm absolutely fine with that. Okay, let's grab some more exhibit animals. Um, so I want to get some different types. What is the anaconda? It's a little snake. Oh, that one's good fertility. Wow. And so is that one. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so we'll get the yellow anacondas in. I'm really hoping there's power out here. There is not. Okay, so we need to grab some power real quickly. Like, really quickly. Um, I'm actually going to pop that round the back here. And pop a little staff path. Going up towards that. Okay, there we go. That now has power. Let's get the climate right as well. Between 80 and 90. Oh, slightly too much. Nice. Yellow anaconda. There we go. We can technically sell that one because we don't need it. And we don't need these ones around the back either. A VIP has arrived! Aisha, welcome on in! Okay, uh, let's just delete this other one right here. And let's get in one more sort of exhibit animal. Ooh. Now we just had Titan Beetles in. Now we could do like a Gila Monster maybe? Oh, there's only one of them. That's annoying. Um, what about Terrapin? Oh my goodness, yes! I want little turtles or tortoises, whatever they are. Well, terrapins, technically they are, Becky. So let's just check that that is all okay. The humidity is not quite there. I'm gonna just whip that up just a smidge. Him. There we go. Perfect. I think I actually possibly put that round backwards, but it's fine. Well, they wouldn't be protesting you if you weren't there stressing them out. That is something that we're definitely gonna have to deal with. Maybe if we grab a security guard. Just be like, can you guys leave? Thanks. That would be the most ideal. Okay. Let's grab in another animal, shall we? I want to get something that's not going to be stressed easily. But it's going to bring in quite a bit of money. But also isn't too expensive to kind of put in. If that makes sense. Uh, let's have a look. Maybe the capybaras. Oh, wow. I don't think there are any there for cash. Oh, no, there are. Well, there's a couple here. I think we can get three... Oh, dear. Two females and one male, if I'm right in saying. And I want to put these, like, right here. Uh, so, Capy Bara. Uh, so I've gone for th oh, three. Oh, nine. Wow, you can have loads of them. Grade two, 1.25. And it doesn't actually even need to be that big. Um,. Okay, I'm going to go for straight along the front. Actually, I'm just going to straight up do a nice little square. Okay. 
that's not very straight at all, but it's fine. <laughs> okay. Let's grab these guys in. I think I'm going to pause very quickly and just sort out all of the animals that are in here. Because a lot of them are starting to inbreed and that isn't great. Um, so I'm going to go like this. Springbok. Wow, there's now loads of those. Actually, let's go to slightly older ones. We'll release two of them. That sounds great. And the other two, I guess, will go to storage. Thompson's Gazelle. Wow. Wow. I uh, do distress, but we also have quite a few males, so I'm gonna get rid of two of those males. We could release one of them, Uber, but Akin Labby, for some reason, there we go, would actually be released. What I'm trying to do also is I'm trying to build out that conservation credit. Wow, that one is actually a really good one. So I'm really tempted to send that one back. I'm gonna send it back. Okay, and I will quick, quick trade those out. Those three. And, oh. I will release that one to the wild. Those eight conservation credits. Are my capybaras anywhere near being, no. Oh, we are gaining some litter here, which I'm not a fan of. Okay, the animals are in. Let's very quickly, I'm very quickly going to go away, build them a quick habitat, and I will be right back. Okay, friends, welcome back. Um, I've realised that we probably actually maybe need to get a couple more of these um, capybaras, maybe. I'm going to wait for the third one to be delivered. Um, but I feel like we might at some point need to grab some more. Oh no, actually it went up to seven. So maybe if I just grab one more, I can grab another male even. That one's slightly better. Send to the zoo. I'll send it into here. There we go. Let's just rename this. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we're slowly, slowly making some money. Let's see what the people think. Underpriced. Amazing. That means we can raise these tickets up. I'm going to go 16 and 10 and see what people are saying. Expensive. Okay, slightly too much. Fair. Fair. That is good. Great. Mechanic research is complete. We are so close to that final one. Okay, I'm going to get this to research the capybaras a little bit. Um, okay, so... Oh, no. Why are you doing that? Oh, great. Now it's... Okay, so maybe we need to get rid of the current male that's in, in there for the spring block. And maybe grab a different male. Uh, let's find spring bucks. Let's just see if there are any. If there aren't, I'm not going to stress about it. Okay. There are, but they are just awful. Uh, so we will stick with our inbred one. <laughs> Sounds so bad. Nice. Okay, I kind of want to get like a little small something in here. Maybe we can get like the tortoises or something, you know? 
Whoa. There we go. There's our Goliath beetle. <laughs> oh my damn. Right, I might have gotten rid of like... We'll do that. We'll do that one to there. That is a lot. Of Goliath beetles. Like, wow. Yeah, so we still can't release them to the wild. So annoying! But it's fine. That is an extra two grand for us right there. Vet research is complete. Wow, that was quick. Cafe bar is level one. I'm going to let that go for just a minute. Okay. I think the dingoes definitely saved us last time a little bit. It really helped us bring in that extra cash. One thing that I haven't put over at the capybaras. A is viewing. <laughs> Good start. Oh, I can do one way glass already. <gasps> Quick, get it on here. I thought that was the final step. So now I can go A, that ah, I can get rid of these. That's so perfect. Mechanic research is in fact complete. Okay, what should we get them doing next? I kind of want them to do either like a theme or something. I'm actually kind of wanting the conservation theme. Because I don't know what these research things unlock. Whether it just unlocks like the pieces or anything like that. That would be really interesting to see. Okay, capybara is a level 2 done. Okay, I kind of want some of the other animals to be researched. Let's... Oh, that is... Oh my god, have we already got baby capybaras? That's a baby! That was... Damn, that was quick. Here, have a Robbie Ducky. Oh no. Oh no. Heaters. Quick. My dingoes. My babies, here, get some heat in ya. I'm literally placing these rounds so randomly that... Okay. I kinda hope it's all covered. We'll see. Once again, they just... Wow, that one had a lot of boys. They just breed. Goliath beetles, friends. They just breed. And they are like the best money makers. And that's why I was so adamant and trying to get them in that first episode. And I was so annoyed when I couldn't get them. Wow, okay, we've researched. I mean, I might as well just let that go to level four or level three. Because you're, you're like halfway through that, but I also kind of want to get some of these going. Uh, keep up, called urgently, please. I love how it's gone from just like. We need. Um, why, what is going on here? Okay. How are our keepers doing? I feel like our keepers are struggling. So maybe as we've now got in another animal, we'll get in another couple more. Oh, good lord. At least all of our exhibits. Like this snow is gonna kill us. Let's grab that on. Oh, I wonder if the conservation things will actually 
do the education. Let's have a look and see if we've got education already unlocked. Um, what am I doing? Education. Oh, we do. We already have, like, some of the kids' stuff. So this is the new kids' education boards. I'm going to place one on, like, the corner here and see if it... Oh, my God. They actually do interact with it. That is so cute. Okay, we also want to try and get a couple okay, conservation boards in. Do about bees. Oh, we need to get some bins in for sure. We do already have a couple in. Let's just place a couple more up this way. Oh no. You can't find an accessible staff room. That's quite a few of you that can't. So that to me says that we need to grab another staff room. And possibly even put it in a slightly different space. But for now, I will just continue placing them along here. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to make this episode a really short episode, as in we've got a new animal in, we've got a couple new exhibits in, we're making good money and we're making some conservation credits as well. So I think one thing that we need to start building up is the education. That is something we need to start doing. I will maybe try and p learn some education things and start getting those things in. It'd be really cool if we could get some like lighting and stuff going on in these parts. But I mean, we're at 36 grand right now for money, although it is slightly going down. But we are we have got a positive cash flow of about six grand at the moment. So I think that is not too bad. Um, I think there's definitely some more things that we could pop in. Maybe some more, um, guest, excuse me, some guest facilities. Uh, actually, let's do that now. Let's pop in a quick guest facility. Um, and then also these are very new and I didn't know that these were here before. And I love them. They're like little counters, right? And I realized, um, wh when we were streaming yesterday and I don't know where they were. And I'm going to struggle to find them again. But there was like a food truck. And you could make it look like it's a food truck. And it's like the coolest thing. Anyway, let's get in. I'm going to pop in. I want to pop in like a merchandise. Uh, I'm going to go for a naked version of the Looney Balloons. And I would also like to pop in, like, maybe one or two more guest things. Um, so I'm going to go for another food stall. What is this? A burnt... I mean, I'm going to go for it because that looks like the most decorated thing out there. Bernie's Bakes. We do love Bernie here. We do. Uh, Maybe let's grab a little drink stall. I'm going to put the drink shop like over here though. To make our guests start wandering around a little bit more. I'm just hoping that that doesn't affect our guests. Um, Actually let's have a look. Negative impact on guests. Oh my god we're literally just fine. Whew. Okay so I might possibly need to move that back just a tiny bit but that's okay uh from what i'm seeing here we might maybe need to grab another caretaker we've only got one okay i'm gonna grab two more caretakers i think we can afford it for now we are gonna say hi to martin martin oh we're gonna complete our mechanic research of our conservation theme level one 
and the Diamondback Terrapin level 1 as well. I'm going to grab the Keeper to come and deal with this. And we're going to end episode 1. Uh, episode 1. This is episode 3, Becky. Uh, episode 3 right here. Um, thank you all so much for being here. Um, we have started streaming Planet Zoo once again over on Twitch. Uh, at the moment, I stream on a Tuesday and a Sunday. Um, check out the links in the descriptions below. Um, we tried out a time scenario the other day and it was so much fun that I'm considering doing all of them and making them into a series over here on YouTube. So do watch this space for those videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this sort of content and you want to see more of it. Let me know what I should add next or in the future into our zoos. What we should be doing. If you've got any tips and tricks and you're like, hey, you should be doing this. And you should be adding this into the zoo. Because it's going to make your zoo way better. Let me know. Hit a girl up. Tell me how I can improve. Why is this animal in a box? Oh, because they're going to be incubated. That's fine. Um, thank you all so, so much for watching, friends. I hope you all have... The best of weeks. I will see you all so very soon. Bye, friends!